You're watching Channel Huan, a multilingual channel. Browse through the playlist for your preferred language, or click on the I icon above for the Dutch audio. This is the home cooking series. Warm greetings! You are watching the cooking series of Channel Huan, and this is Robila, your kuya and uncle in Holland. But this time I'm in the Philippines, and I'll be showing you how to prepare or how to butterfly. Uh, milkfish. I'll be showing you the ingredients. I have here four kilos of milkfish caught directly from the waters around or inside my barrio in Anda. What's uh, Pangasina without bungos? To marinate this, you also need salt and pepper, and of course, vinegar and a generous amount of garlic. I'll be giving the uh, suggested proportions of the ingredients in the description box below. Since we are preparing fish, that's what our dirty kitchen is for. Let's go to the dirty kitchen. This is our dirty kitchen and this is where we are going to prepare this uh, milk fish. For our international audience, the dirty kitchen is actually a kitchen uh, which is separate and of lower maintenance in the main uh, uh, kitchen of the house. It's intended for daily cooking, cooking which are messy. That's why it should be as primitive and as uh, low maintenance as possible. It should be as uh, to our Tagalog speakers, it should be a la barong barong or bahay kubo. There are two stoves here under this chimney. The first one is a uh, wood fired stove. We use the stalks or we use the different parts of the coconut for firing that stove for let's say the flowers, stalks etc. And that's the uh, gas tank that uh, serves the uh, stove at the other side of the wall that's for the main kitchen. And here's a charcoal uh, fired stove. Charcoal. Here are the charcoals. And now, maybe this explains why we have here a charcoal motif or charcoal colored, <laughs> formerly white chopping board. That explains this is what you get when you <laughs> use white utensils or use white wares in a kitchen with a coal burning stove. It's not dirty, it's just the color of the coal. Let's start the uh, task. My mother told me to be always careful for removing the inners, careful with the gold bladder. It was almost a disaster for her <laughs> when that breaks. <laughs> Your dish really becomes a bit thin. Especially when you intend to use the milk fish directly for a recipe. But for our case, they will be uh, marinated overnight and then dried under the sun for a day. Drying them uh, intensifies the flavor, really. That's why I would be frying them directly. After a day, after a day of sun drying, I'll fry them and bring them or freeze them and bring them to Holland.
something I learned is how to reuse the water. Fish water, that's my description for, for this. I'll be using this to water the plants. So I'll, I'm straining the inner. both sides. This allows the marinade to penetrate better. Two. This is a shallow ridge. We call this pindan. I forgot the English word for this process. <laughs> Please help me. <laughs> And in Bisaya, in Bisayas, how do you call this task or this uh, slit? Not a slit, but just a light burrow. Mm. Now let's prepare the marinade. I have here four kilos of fish and for this quantity I'll be using around three times four, 12 uh, cloves of garlic. Although this is according to taste, I'll, go, so I'll be using around eight tablespoon full of uh, salt, pepper, and around three fourths, two, one half to three fourths cup vinegar for every kilo. You don't have to peel the garlic, just crush. Look, this is micro retail, plastic pack containing one, I think just one half, I think it's just one half, I'm not sure, of vinegar. Again, I'll be indicating the proportions of the comment box, bo at the comment box uh, under this video. This is real food. It does, have, it does not have to be prepared in a flashy uh, kitchen. The salt and vinegar. And this is how we do it. Assure that every face has been submerged. Of course, after the salt has been dissolved, do this one by one. Give each fist a complete immersion.
these are my grenades. I'll turn them later. I'll keep this marinade overnight. I'll turn it before going to bed. See you tomorrow for the drying process. for my bagus directly caught or caught directly from these waters around and inside my bag. Let's just give this uh, bagus a day to dry and then I freeze them and I bring them to Holland. See you.